right, folks, here we are. It is a Monday afternoon and the shop is closed, but guess what I am still doing? Still working, still looking for records. Got a call to check out a house um, that has a bunch of records in it. So that's what we're gonna do. Don't really know a lot about it, um, but I do have um, an overwhelming sense of curiosity when it comes to these things so I can't I can't not look you know what I mean so we'll see maybe it's good maybe it's great maybe it's terrible only one way to find out so buckle up baby all right so we're here um, situation is house been empty for a little while but look at that that's a lot of records and there's some more there and back there there's like a closet there, so we're gonna get cooking. Ooh, okay, load it up. Sweating, look at that. Uh, see how many records we got. All right, this is the shop. We're loaded up. Gonna unload now. Kylie, how many records do you think we bought? Mm, 15. 15? Like it's closer to 1,500. 1,500? Maybe not that many, but it's like a 1,000 at least, right? I'll have to get a final count. Yeah. But look, check it out. All right, so we're unloaded in the shop, and there are a lot of records. So I'm going to get a final count, see what the deal is, and uh, get to sorting. All right been a long evening final count 1574 albums time to start sorting time to start cleaning time to start pricing all right so you saw the house call that i made um definitely a bit of a a gamble on that one um house was in pretty rough shape a lot of the records were really dirty and so i have been uh, gloved up all week, um, deep cleaning these things uh, to try to get them ready for the album. So first and foremost, I'll just get it out of the way. Uh, this stuff won't be available on our website until Monday the 6th, I think, March 6th. And yeah, so it'll just be here in the store for all the locals for the weekend. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff. I think I said earlier, it's been a couple days since I filmed that first stuff, um, but lots of jazz, but lots of other stuff too. So we'll go through the kind of more common stuff first, and then we'll get into some of the jazz and then stay tuned until the end because there's a few heavy hitters that I'll be showing um, that I found. So first and foremost, you know, we got kind of our standard stuff. There was uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Metal, Wish You Were Here, I think that's it. Um, first Tower Power Record, very cool. This is a sealed 70s reissue of Yellow Submarine. Uh, a really nice in shrink 70s UK. These are both UK reissues of Revolver. Um, Skinner. German Queen's Greatest Hits. German Steve Miller Band Greatest Hits. Steely Dan Greatest Hits. Got a UK second pressing of Rumors. We've got a Netherlands pressing of Bob Dylan and the band. Uh, and there was some Madonna stuff too. Um, a couple of other more like pop rock, classic rock type of records in there, which is which is nice. I mean, we're, we're located in South Texas, uh, for those of you that are not from here. Um, you know, people are always looking for that kind of stuff. But the real reason that I went ahead and took a chance on this collection was all of the good jazz stuff. Uh, soul jazz, free jazz, bop, stuff like that. Um, you know, there's some of it that I found that is too warped, um, which I knew there was going to be some, but there have been a few that have been kind of a bummer. Uh, but still, tons of good stuff. A lot of good stuff uh, from the Groove Merchant label. So, um, we got this one, Friday the 13th, Cook County Jail, Jimmy McGriff, there's a lot of Jimmy McGriff stuff, um, soul funk kind of stuff, some of it is just straight funk, um, but a lot of it, 
you know, funk, jazz influence kind of stuff. Uh, a couple Groove Holmes records. Um, this one is very good. Uh, another Jimmy McGriff, Stump Juice. This Groove Holmes hunk of funk is, uh, this record is disc two, and then uh, I can't, can't remember what the Night Strider, Night Glider, I think something like that is the first disc. So it's kind of like a two in one type of situation. Um, this one's coming home with me, but there is a sealed copy of it that I found. So there were two copies of this one right there. Um, but this one, you know, it's got, it's kind of rough on the back. So that one will stay with me because the cover doesn't, the condition of the cover isn't a deal breaker for me. Um, I think I can show this one on YouTube because they, uh, I'll cover that up right there. Uh, another one of those. This is very, very, very cool to me, personally, being from Corpus Christi, to find, we have this event every year, the Texas Jazz Festival, um, and this is volume one, uh, Texas Jazz Festival record, um, so you can see on the back, it was put out by a Corpus Christi label, lots of uh, cool stuff on it, um, including, what was it, Clark Terry, uh, featuring the fabulous sounds of Clark Terry. Um, I guess they're playing his music. But yeah, anyway, very cool. Still sealed, unfortunately, for me, because I was really, uh, oh, there he is. actually he's playing on it. There we go, Clark Terry doubles them up. Um, but yeah, a music from the tea head. We have these tea heads down uh, on the bayfront where people uh, park their boats and stuff, a packed Coliseum jazz crowd. The Coliseum was an old venue, old like arena-ish, not not as big as an arena, but a big venue. Van Halen played there, Kiss played there, Sabbath played there. Um, it, got, it was torn down 15 years ago, maybe 20 at this point, but so that's cool to see that. Lots of uh, Corpus history here and really love to see that. Hard not to keep. There's a lot of cool Japanese stuff and they all still have the Obi strips. Nothing crazy in terms of like artists, like no like real heavy hitters. This one's cool though, because it has Paul Chambers on it playing bass. Uh, love to see that. There were a couple of like Pachanga, Salsa type of records, uh, Joe Cuba Sextet. Um, and then there's this uh, in the Heart of Spanish Harlem one that's kind of fits a similar vibe. Very cool stuff, really enjoyed that record and listened to it the other day. Lots of impulse jazz stuff. Um, now the impulse stuff varies. We've got a lot of like early 70s repressings on the ABC logo, um, but still Sonny Rollins on impulse, come on. Uh, this one is an original pressing, Archie Sheps and Free Jazz. We've got another uh, early-ish, uh, early 70s, oh, almost knocked the camera over, early 70s uh, repressing of the Roy Haynes Quartet featuring Roland Kirk. Um, one of my favorite jazz records that I own. I um, already have a copy of this, thankfully, so I don't have to keep this one, but Terry Gibbs, take it from me, really, really relaxing jazz record, very much unlike that Archie Shep record that I showed. Um, you know, some more Impulse, Ray Charles on Impulse, uh, the Coleman Hawkins Quartet right there. Um, and then there was some earlier stuff from different labels, uh, Bob James Trio on Mercury, um, Houston Person Underground Soul on Prestige, um, the Sonny Rollins, uh, on RCA Victor, this is a good one. Played fairly well, actually. Um, well, we got Pharaoh Sanders. Lots of really good stuff, um, but not just jazz. There's some uh, uh, Spanish stuff in there as well. Sealed Tortilla Factory Five. Got Coken and Token on it. Uh, if you aren't hip to Tortilla Factory, listen to Cooking uh, by them off their self-titled. And then we've got a couple of other ones. Uh, some of this stuff is going to go on eBay just because. I don't know, with sealed stuff, it's hard to tell because, you know, you can't grade the records um, because they're sealed. Uh, and then some cover damage and stuff too, where it's like, how really, what's the value of this? I'll let people bid it out, but right there, we've got Duke Pierce and Sweet Honey Bee. That's a sealed one. 
um, on Blue Note. Again, with that one, hard to tell exactly which pressing it is um, because of that, but we've got Leo Parker, Let Me Tell You About It, right there. But this one, uh, unfortunately, got stuck to another record, so big chunk taken out of the jacket there, which is unfortunate, but we've got a real nice, uh, I haven't even cleaned this one yet, and it's pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, what the ear label is what they call it. Um, we've got the early uh, RVG stamp in the runouts, not the stamped Van Gelder. Um, and then we've got another good one here. Uh, this is Elvin Jones, Dear John C. on Impulse. And this one is a promo copy, and it plays very strong VG+. Plus. Uh, I was really, really happy at how uh, well this one cleaned up. There's some writing on the labels and what have you, but it plays great. It plays fantastic, and that, to me, is one of the more important things. Uh, and then last but not least, probably the coolest one to me is The Awakening here, Sense and Feel. Original Black Jazz label. It has some funky uh, markings on it, but I played it. Probably nothing you're going to be able to see through the camera. Um, but just things that look like, you know, some spottiness. I don't know how to describe that. You can kind of see that there. None of it affects play. VG Plus through and through. Sounds fantastic. Listened to it twice yesterday. Um, just really cool stuff. Stuff that we just never see around here and that I am thrilled to be able to bring into the shop. Uh, really great stuff. So like I said, this is all going to be available Friday, tomorrow, if you're watching this the day I release, uh, the day this video releases. And then Monday, March 6th, I believe is the date. Still haven't uh, checked. <laughs> I think that's it. If tomorrow's the third, then fourth, fifth, yeah. Monday, March 6th. Uh, will show up on our website and um and yeah I'll, uh, I'll probably once i round up all the stuff that i want to auction off on ebay maybe make a video about that and this is not even i this is only the stuff that i have gone through and cleaned and you know made sure plays now there's this is a fifth maybe of the collection and it's probably about half of the stuff that i set aside that i thought was the better stuff in the collection uh so lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff still left to go through lots of stuff that's under that i priced it under ten dollars whether it be damage covers or um you know whatever the case may be there's impulse stuff out there for under 10 bucks um there's a lot of groove merchant stuff out there for under 10 bucks um that i put out that i didn't even bother showing just kind of hit the highlights for this one um but definitely if you're into jazz we got you covered for the time being. We'll see how long the stuff lasts, but um, just again, uh, very excited to be able to recirculate this stuff, get it cleaned up, get it in good playing condition to find new homes on your turntables. And that is it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever, do all that stuff. Um, sorry that this I feel like I really rushed through this video in a kind of <laughs> monotone way, but it has been so busy around here trying to get this stuff going. So uh, there's that. Follow us on social media. If you're in the Corpus Christi area, March 7th at the Noasis Whiskey Library, I'm playing all of my favorite uh, pop music featured in film, uh, doing a DJ set there. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Someone's calling. So I guess that means that it's time for me to hang up with you. I will catch you later. See you in the shop.